Hello, hello everyone. Hope you guys are having a great week. We are back again with another month of education training. Today we are talking about a very exciting topic. I've got Nathan with me and Davis Crab. Hey guys. Hi Jade, how's it going? Going good. Hey. Awesome. We're talking about the For Life app today, and Davis Crab is going to be going through just some different features. I know you guys, we posted something not long ago asking if you had questions and different things. So feel free to, you know, also pop those in the chat. Um, but I think he's going to answer a lot of your questions that you had previously. So I'm excited. Me too, Davis. So teach us a little bit about the app. Okay, thanks, Jay. Thanks, Nathan. Let me go ahead and uh, share my screen here. Oh, and I've got to give system permissions because I haven't done this oh. through my browser in a minute. Sorry about that. Just a sec. No problem. Well, I'll tell you, that's, that's one of the things I was, I met with some people earlier today and they're very impressed with the app. They're very impressed with a lot of the, the updates we've had. So I'm super excited about it. And I know Davis and all the guys that work on it together do a lot of great things with the app. So why he's, he's pulling that up. Just kind of, I mean, we did a training a little while ago. Daniel showed you the stuff um, yesterday on using the reports within the app. So there's so many things. We did the media library. Daniel did the reports. Davis is going to give us the functionality. Um, for me, it's one of those apps you go to daily. You probably got, we probably all have like a, uh, you know, those five or six that we go to daily. If, you know, if you're serious about your four life business, this is one of them. Go there, uh, you know, updates the, I just went brain dead day, da, Jade dashboard. That's what it's called, dashboard. dashboard. The part of the top is you know, always being updated so that, if there's something new at 4Live, if we made any announcements, if we have any product specials. So it's always good to check in there daily to see what's just double check that all four of those. Normally there's four dashboards across the top that are good. Check your target rank every day just to see how everybody's going, those kind of things. So I think Davis will jump back in. He, um, sometimes some of these programs work well with, a, you know, like the Dell that I have. <laughs> And he, I know he has a MacBook and yeah. sometimes it doesn't work as well with the Mac, you know, or vice versa. Some things work right. really well with MacBooks and don't work and as well. well. Yeah. So I know Davis was working through a couple of details with that. So we'll be in good shape here in just a second. There he is. So. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Something's always got to go wrong when, <laughs> right when no you use work, you know. No worries at all. This just gave people more time to get on. So it's perfect. Okay, is that is that sharing now? Can you guys see the app? Yep, I see it. Okay, perfect. Let's get going here then. So I uh, just wanted to mention one thing first. Well, I mean, yeah, for, feel free to follow along. Um, if you don't have the app installed, go ahead and install it. Um, I did want to make a note on uh, if you are having issues with our app, uh, double check to make sure that you have like the latest uh, version of iOS and the latest version of Android, if you can. Um, we, we recently released a version where you need to have uh, iOS 15, um, which is supported on like the all the way back to, I think the iPhone 6S. So hopefully no one has any issues with uh, upgrading to like at least iOS 15 and Android 7 or greater. Um, if you do feel free to, to post uh, in the comments, maybe. Um, and yeah, we can, we can help with that. Uh, also feel free to ask questions while I'm on. I love answering questions. Uh, so yeah, please feel free to post those in and I'm sure Nathan and Jade can, you know, bring those up as we're going along here. So, um, want to give just a quick overview of what I'm going to go over today in the app. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of great stuff in here. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to be able to cover everything, but the things that I'm going to focus on are uh, just a couple things with the dashboard, um, the resources section in the app, the my shop section, sign up, uh, media library, what all we have in there, um, and then contacts. 
So those are the, the sections we're gonna be highlighting and looking at today. Um, so first off with the dashboard, I wanted to just mention that we just turned on uh, this recent media shares widget, as well as this resources widget here. So these are both new. When we add a new widget, it's gonna pop them up to the top of your widgets here. Um, and then if you click on this blue button here on the dashboard, that'll pull up the dashboard widgets. And this is where you can hide or organize those. So these new ones will pop up at the top. If you don't want them for some reason, you're welcome to hide them obviously, or just move them, move them down lower in the list if you don't want them to be at the top. Uh, but just to note that those are there. Um, I think one of the questions from the Facebook group, yeah, was how to get to the blog and the newsletter from the app. So uh, in this resources section, these are like the three links that we have highlighted. Uh, yeah, USA official group, For Life Academy, and the For Life newsletter. So if you tap right here to get to the resources section, um, or that is also located if you open up the menu at the top right, and then click on this arrow to open up the sub menu down here, we have resources. Uh, so yeah, those are the two ways to get to this section. Um, and all of these uh, are kind of the business resources that also exist on the website. Uh, so go ahead and take a look in here. I'm not gonna necessarily cover uh, the content in here today, um, but just making, making you guys aware of where those are at since that was one of the questions asked. Okay, let's, let's dive into my shop. Uh, yeah, the, my shop, sign up, the media library. To me, these are like the real, uh, like meat and potatoes of the app, right? Where, uh, yeah, it, they're just really cool. So we're gonna dive in. So let's hop into my shop. Um, and just as kind of a, a high level overview of my shop, I'm sure uh, most, if not all of you are at least kind of aware of what my shop is. Um, but in case you don't, uh, my shop is your own kind of personalized for life website. So I'm in the my shop section and I clicked on this gear icon to go to the settings tab. And this is where I can control the display information on my, my shop site down here is my, my custom link. And I can change this if I want. Um, it says, yeah, Krabby Davis is kind of like my handle. So this is the website that I would send uh, customers to if I want them to shop on it. Um, or if I just want to, if my friends or family are like, oh, what's this for life thing that you're doing? Um, and I want to send them, send them to my, to my site so that they can take a look at the products and everything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and I'm going to, I'm just going to view this link in Safari. And once again, this is, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are already aware of this, but just want to show it just in case you in case someone doesn't. So this is the for life website and it looks virtually the same as the normal for life website with the exception that up here at the top, you can see that it has my, my handle up here in my picture. Um, and when someone purchases something on my website, that's when I can make a commission, right? So that's why I want to be sending people there. Um, so yeah, this display information, I can adjust and change uh, from within the app. And yeah, that's just kind of a, a brief overview of my shop there. So you can just send people to the normal shop page, right? Um, to say, you know, take a look at the products, uh, see if there's anything that you're interested in. Um, but if we're chatting and I specifically want to uh, refer you to like Transfer Factor Plus, right? Or maybe specifically to uh, like the ProTF, uh, I met you at the gym, et cetera. So if, if, if you kind of know what someone is interested in, then you can come in here to the favorites and and create a uh, quote unquote favorites list, right? So let's go ahead and do that and walk through it. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to add a name for it. And like, maybe you want this to be for a specific person, but it could also just be a, a generic one, right? Like this could be a link that you post on Facebook or something. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to call this one Fred. Um, 
and then come in here and I'm just going to do transfer factor plus because that's my go to. I love the product. Um, and I'm just going to say done. So that's added this favorites list up here. And if I if I tap on the name or on the arrow icon, this is kind of the details page. So I can I can adjust this later on, right? I can I can remove this product, I can add new products, etc. I can rename this list. Uh, so it's really flexible. Um, so no stress on on creating these. You can always change them later. Um, so so the so the power of this, right? Uh, so I'm going to tap on this share icon right here. And this share icon, it may look different uh, if you have an Android phone versus an, versus an iOS phone. That's just because some of the, the iconography uh, used between the two platforms is different. So yeah, don't be alarmed if, if this icon looks different on your phone. Um, but tapping on that, we get two options here. We have a shop link and a sign up link. And uh, I'm gonna click on both of these so that we can look at the differences. But ultimately, right, if, if I know that Fred is just interested in buying um, some TF Plus, he just wants to try it out, I'm gonna send him a shop link. If he learns more about uh, like the For Life business opportunity and he's interested in that, then I'm gonna send him a, a, a sign up link. Uh, so I'll click on shop link and I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and uh, paste paste this in Safari so that we can see what what the experience would look like to Fred uh, as if I had sent it to Fred. So Fred clicks on the link, it loads in his browser, and this is what he sees, right? So we can see that he's on my website, right, on my My Shop site. It says get over a twenty percent discount, uh, Krabby Davis, and the, you, yeah, this this is just whatever name is on the account. That's just the name that I threw in there. Uh, shared some products with you. Would you like to add these products to your cart? And I can, this, yeah, this is automatically checked. I can uncheck it. Uh, but really like me and Fred had already talked about TF plus, right? He already knows it's great. He can just click add to cart. He's on the cart page, right? He can see the subtotal. He can see how much he's saving and he can see right here that he has my promo code. Um, so he knows that he's getting, you know, the best deal that he can. And then just like that, he can check out. So the, the reason why this is so powerful, right? Instead of me sending Fred a generic uh, link to my website, to the product page, uh, if he goes to the product page, we have a lot of products, which is awesome, um, but people can get lost, right? On the website, he may be scrolling around, looking at the different products. He may get some decision fatigue on, he's not sure which one he wants to try. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of factors that go into that, right? So this favorites link streamlined the process for him. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to go. And obviously he can go and look through all the products if he wants, right? He can continue shopping. Um, but this way it's streamlined. He gets the link, he clicks on it. He adds this to his cart. He checks out and I get, I get my commission um, and he gets a great product. So it really streamlines that. Um, so now let's look at, at what this looks like for a signup link, okay? You can see that this, I mean, you probably didn't pay atten attention to the URL, but the URL is different here. Um, so we'll copy this and go to Safari, paste this in. Okay, so we get this modal, very similar, right? Get over a 20% discount. Krabby Davis shared some products. Would you like to add them to your cart? Um, and I can add those to my cart. And the difference now is that I'm on the signup page. I'm no longer on the cart page, right? Because I don't want to just check out. I want to sign up. And at this point, um, after I submit this info, then I'll already have T TF Plus in my cart. Um, and it, streams it streamlines my signup process. So. That's the only difference between the signup link and the shop link. The shop link will land the receiver on the cart page. The signup link lands the receiver on the on the signup page. Um, and that, yeah, one of the questions uh, that Jade mentioned to me 
uh, did reference kind of what the difference is between a sign up link and a shop link. And if you've, if you've been a for life app user for uh, even probably six, well, maybe even four months, four months or longer, uh, we used to have a, a different sign up flow. And I think the other sign up flow with creating a link, uh, it was honestly just more confusing. We took that out and tried to simplify the process a lot. Uh, so yeah, feel free to give us some feedback on if you like this new process, uh, if you like the old process better, uh, please let us know. Because yeah, we, we have tried to make this more straightforward here. So in reference to sign up, let's go ahead and, and jump in there. Um, and sorry, maybe I went, met, went a little too fast there. So to get to the sign up section, you can click on the sign up button here on the dashboard, or you can do it from the menu. And here there's a, there's a few options, right? So I can, I can share a sign up link, which is what we just did. So this is just a, a version of that where you select a favorites list and it's going to create that sign up link that you can share. Um, you can send a link without products, which, uh, you know, we, we did mention earlier, we're, we're always going to, we're always going to recommend to you that you, that you like select a favorites list, right? Uh, and Nathan or Jade, feel free to, to speak out on this one, but in general, it's always better to recommend specific products to someone, right? Than to just, than to just drop them on the shop page. So that's why, we're, yeah. Absolutely. And I'll just chime in really fast while I say that. For me, one of the things, and I get why we have it, we have transfer factor in all of our products, which is awesome. But when transfer factor's in there and, you know, people are talking to you, sometimes that's the only thing they remember is transfer factor. And then there's many transfer factor options. It can get very confusing. So to really streamline the process. These are the products you should take. It's awesome. So I love doing that. I would, I would almost always choose to do that one. Cool. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, so this, this other, uh, option that I just want to mention is to sign up like on my phone. So yeah, th this would be like, if I'm talking to my friend, um, and I'm talking to him about the for life opportunity, they're interested and I just, yeah, they just want to sign up right now. I can just pull out, pull out my phone, open the app, um, and do this. They can fill out their info and uh, they can just sign up right here on my phone. So if you would, are right there with them, you don't want to send them a link and you just want to do it right now, you can do this. Uh, I'm not going to walk through this process just because this is a, <laughs> this is a live account. So uh, yeah, not don't want to sign up uh, someone on it. But just so you know, that option is there. Okay, let's, let's hop into the media library. Uh, so the media library is 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 pretty new as far as the app goes. I want to say we just launched this in it was either in February or the beginning of March for the U.S. Um, right? We used to have the and this is just a little background uh, for anyone that may care. We used to have the Connect app, and we moved away from the Connect app and just brought that functionality into our own app. So instead of having to download two separate apps, you just download the For Life app and you have everything in here, right? So uh, media library. Um, the media library has corporate assets that you can share with people on uh, your social media accounts. Uh, there, there was a question if there was a way to upload uh, like a 10 minute personal video and then share it um, and we don't have any current plans to do that. I, I was told that that was a uh, functionality that existed on the Connect app. Um, but yeah, for whoever asked that, just so you know, we, we do not currently have plans to implement that. Uh, so currently we just have the option to share our corporate assets. Um, you can see here, we have these four categories and this little badge up here is gonna say how many new featured items there are. Uh, so I can see that there are three featured items that that I haven't actually seen yet that are new. Um, and it looks like it's this go next level uh, digital media kit that I haven't seen yet. Um, 
yeah, cool. I haven't, yeah, I haven't looked at these. Uh, so with, with the media section, right, this is a, this is a tool for you to share. I mean, yeah, various, various types of content. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and look at this. So I've got a few options in here, right? I can, I can download this. Um, I can favorite it. And if I favorite it, it's just going to add it to my favorites when I click on this middle tab um, or I can share it. So when I share, I have two options. I can share with a contact or I can do a quick share. And let's start out with the quick share option. When I do that, it creates uh, just this generic link and it says link created. I can view it in the share log. For now, let's go ahead and just look at what people will see that click on this link. So when they click on the link, it takes them to my my shop site that we talked about earlier. Uh, it has that that media there. So if it's an image, a video, a PDF, etc., um, it provides a way for them to share it. And on certain media, there's a button where they can click to learn more as well. Um, so that that does depend on the media asset. But yeah, this is what people will see when they click on the link. And we do provide the option to, to download the media, right? Because if you're posting on social media, you just want to, like, you want to be able to post the actual asset um, and not just the link. Um, so yeah, you have both options. You could download uh, and share that along with the link, et cetera. Uh, so what's super cool with, with the media sharing is is this share log um that was a misclick so this is what i just barely shared i can see that i shared it on 8 25 at 12 21 pm and when i go in here i can actually see how many people opened it um there, there was a question on uh being able to create a generic link to post on social media for mass or mass messaging and this this is the way to do it is to create that quick link if you want to like uh, track different stats stats per platform for example like I could name this you know this is going to be my my Facebook go next level link and uh, then maybe I'll go in and share this again right I can create another quick share this is going to be a different link. And then I'm going to name this one my my Instagram link. Um, and that's just so I can now see how many opens. And you and this is the open um, that I just really showed you guys on this device. And you can see what time it was opened at. Um, now I'll be able to track how many opens I have on Facebook versus how many opens I have on Instagram. Right. So uh, that's kind of that that quick share mass messaging option. Um, and yeah, that's going to show up in your recent media shares. This little badge over here is how many new events that there have been, uh, that you haven't seen yet. So I click on this. It looks like two people have opened up this link that I haven't seen, um, for videos. It's cool because we show how, like the length of the video that people watched, you know, if they watched 80%, 20% of the video, et cetera. Uh, and then this has those that learn more, learn more button links too. Okay, so the other thing, or the other type of share, is when you share to a uh, to a contact. And yeah, I'm just gonna go grab a item here. So I'll do share, and I'm gonna say share with a contact. So th this would be if I want to share with a specific person. And um, this pulls in the contacts from your phone. And if, you know, if it's someone that you just barely met and you're telling them like about something, uh, you, can, you can add that contact right here instead of going into your, your uh, device contacts if you want. Um, but let's go ahead and just tap on Anna Crab. And I just want to open the share sheet Right, and then I would go ahead and share it with her. 
So the difference is with, with this contact share, when we go to the share log, it, it's automatically going to name the share with your with that contact's name, right? So that's the only difference there. But the other thing is that if we go into the contact section of the app now, and I click on Anna Crab, I can like we're pulling the share log. Uh, so anything that you've shared with Anna will show up right here in your contact. Um, and that kind of segues into just talking about contacts briefly. Um, the contact section was created as a way for you guys to kind of prospect uh, to just quickly go through your contacts, right? And say, okay, is Anna, like, do I think that she's a prospective customer? Do I think she's a prospective affiliate? Or do I think she's just not gonna be interested? And these can be changed later on, but the idea was that you could quickly come in and you could sort through these, right? And we'll see if I can, uh, probably, <laughs> I don't need to get through all of them, but here I am just having fun flipping the cards. So, um, so I've sorted all of them and then I can click on these categories, right? I can look at my prospective customers at my prospective affiliates and those people that I marked as not interested. Um, so, you know, after I talked to Bob, uh, at that point, like I have him as as a prospective customer, right? But maybe maybe he's actually interested in the business, so I change him to a prospective affiliate, or maybe he's not interested, etc. Um, I can take notes in here, right? So if I know that Bob is specifically interested in the collagen or uh, whatever, I might I might type that in here for for future reference, right? So. Um, Oh, and it looked like that didn't save. Interesting. So that's a bug that I'll be looking at. Um, yeah, so that's that's the contacts. It provides an easy way for you to like quickly create like these different prospect categories. Um, so yeah, that's kind of everything that I was gonna have with with that. Uh, the last thing that I will just give a shout out to, uh, just because you know I th I think it's nice, is this time capsule section in the app. Uh, most of what we talked about today, right, with with was was really around my shop. Um, this is more of just for yourself. Um, so I in here have uh, the products that I like to take, right? I have TF Plus and Multiplex. Um, so in the settings, I can add more products if there's more that I want to take on a daily basis, and I can say when I want like certain reminders. So. On my phone, I'm going to get a reminder at 8 a.m. in the morning to take my products and then a reminder um, in the evening to take my products. When I do, I can come in here and I can mark that I've taken them. Um, and then here we just have we, we have these streaks. If you want to track, you know, how many days you've taken it, how many days in a row, uh, that's your streak, how many days in a row you've done it. Um, so just, just wanted to give a quick shout out to this time capsule section as a as a fun and useful thing just to help you remember to take your product. So um, yeah, that that's everything that I was gonna cover today. Jaden, Nathan, I don't know if there are any questions or if you guys wanted to, to throw anything else out there. No, I, I, I've just received great feedback on everything, not just through the um, chat, but also through just mess, direct messages. People are lo loved what you were saying, mm -hmm. great. The only thing I'm questioning right now, Davis, is dude, you're not spending enough time with Jade and I and Dr. <laughs> and distributors. I take like a handful of products every day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The problem is, is you hang out with Brent and he'll start describing a product and you're like, add that to the list. <laughs> then you're with Dana and Dana's Lombardi's talking about a product, add that to the list. And the next thing you know, you got a handful in the morning. So we got to get <laughs> hanging out with Brent a little bit more, Dr. Vaughn. And, yeah, Let's there we go. That list in a hurry. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> well, thank you so oh, much. Awesome. That is so much good information. There was two things in there that I did not even realize. So I'm excited. I must have missed that week on yes. the the one thing that I really got that I've never seen before is that you can make two separate uh link lists for Facebook and Instagram links for when you shared the um the graphic. Mm-hmm. 
And I was like, oh, that is really good. So if you guys want to track and kind of do your own analytics to see how many, you know, link opens you're getting, I, I love that. That's awesome. So good. Thank you so much, Davis. That is awesome, you guys. All right, we're all, we're all, we only have a few more days left in the month of education. I hope you guys are doing this. Remember, on the YouTube channel or right here, this is great information. You know, one thing I get all the time is, hey, we need more app training. So here's, here's one really good one for you to really catch you up on a lot of things. And we'll make sure we have Davis back here soon. So right. thanks, Davis. Thanks, Jade. Take care, Thank everybody. Thank you. Bye, thanks, guys. guys. See you, everyone.